Hello, this is Sam Partridge for Dover Community Radio, and today I'm interviewing at the Charlton Arts Centre. First of all, I <coughs> I'm speaking to a young lady. Could you please introduce yourself for our listeners? Right, I'm Susan Homer. Uh, thank and you. And, and I was just wondering, it's very difficult to... Pictures are very difficult things. How, how do ideas for, for pictures present themselves? How do they present themselves? Uh, or do, what do you mean? Do I get the ideas? Yeah, wait, I was just wondering, if you, do you look at other people's works of art and then it comes um, over? No. It's just no, it's no, totally no, off your own head? Off my own head, yes. I, I'd, um, I've never really liked copying other artists' work or you know, stick to my own style. That's way, that way you develop your own style. But I do appreciate other artists' work. I look at them and I enjoy them. <laughs> so you sort of like to see an icon and then uh, want, to, uh, want to make I a have, picture of it? I have some, some favourite artists, but uh, wildlife artists mostly, like um, Carl Brenders, Terry Isaacs and Robert Bateman. Yeah, they're, so. they're, they're artists that I do look up to. Their work's <laughs> brilliant. Are those people you'd know if you were into the art world? Um, the well, world they are animals? quite... Um, yes, well known. I don't know them personally, but I do appreciate the work. Do you like the sense of movement in 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 in, in the animal world? Uh, yes. Or is it yes. more a, <coughs> a conglomeration of minds? Do you think, like the, like mm. the set, the mindset of somebody out there in in the in the forest? Yes. <laughs> so. Um, is, is it very difficult to let go when you actually sell one of these pictures? Is it? Some of them, yes. Some. Um, you know they're going I to do a good painting, home. and I, I really enjoy painting. Yeah. And when I stand back and look at the finished result, like um, when I, I did the ones of the yeah. walls. And you want it for yourself, don't yes, you? Yes, and I thought, oh, I'm, I like that, and it sells. I went, oh, because I can't really paint another one the same. It, it's yeah, just okay. a one-off. Yeah. You know, I could paint something similar, but not quite the same. So, <laughs> so. What, what's your favourite picture ever, do you think? Do you think that's the one with the eagle? Is it? Um, my favourite one is the wolves, Grizzly and Aiden. They're um, uh, subjects that a friend of mine on Facebook, he's Don Gossett, he's been working with wolves, studying them for about 30, 40 years at International Wolf Centre in America. Wow. And um, I saw his photo and I said, oh, can I paint them? He said, yes, oh, wow, certainly. Nice him, yeah. And then I posted it on Facebook and um, it, they're lovely. And they're actually all that exist. Because yeah, I remember you, you, your, your eagle actually talked to me. Yes, yes, I thought he's maybe, gone maybe somebody, <laughs> he's somebody gone somebody's spiked my drinks. A collector of birds of prey. Oh, yeah. So, so you, you do enjoy your encounter with paint then? Oh, yes. Very much so. I was looking the other day about acrylics and how that happened. Apparently that's a petrochemical revolution. Right? Yes, I don't know much about it. I just... <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. It, there's, they, they, they distill something from the petrol and they, and they put it in the paint and it makes it like stay together rather than be weak and watery. Oh, yes. Oh, I see, yeah. Because so, um, I'm relatively new to acrylics. I, in, I I've always painted in watercolour. So I've only been painting acrylics the past two years, but is it easier I to like get the colours? I often think that if you've got like you oh, have yes. three primary colours, or do yes. they just shout at you just to do that that one colour and then so we oh, that's no, just I, right. I mix. I do mix, mix quite oh, a lot of colour. I very rarely use one block colour. Um, I was just wondering, well, what's the theme of the, of the present exhibition? Uh, there is no theme. It is an open exhibition, so that way the work. Is more diverse. Uh, just pop, 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 pottering around. I see, I feel a sort of unity of design. Yes, yes. So they're and they're all, all local artists as well. That's good. Yes, well. I mean, it was overwhelmed. There's, there's so many talented people out there. We do. And also, to... looking at the price tags, they're not totally exorbitant, are they? No, no. They're, they're really good. If very you like good. Them. Yes, very good prices. Um, good there, range it? anything from twenty five pounds up to fifteen hundred pounds. Right. So if you like something, you can purchase it. Can't you? Yes, yes. They got to the end of the month, till mm. the exhibition runs out. So, so <coughs> if uh, if I say you came every month, mm -hmm. would that be a new exhibition each time I came? Yes. Uh, next month, I believe, is the Dover Camera Club, and mm. the following month 
in August will be a collaboration between Ken Morley, um, Mike Tedder, and that from Alberta, they the district Cumbria, and they're going to have all photographs of the Lake District Cumbria, which is going to be yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Well, <coughs> I'll try and get it on on the radio for each exhibition. Yes, yes. Um, then we should, um, we'll keep you posted on the next open okay. exhibition. So I'm hoping to have arts and crafts fairs, and um, especially with Christmas coming oh, up. It's marvellous, so isn't it? It yeah. is, it would be nice. Six months to yeah. Yes, yeah, so I know we want more people to come and purchase, but we'd like to get well, more I artists Well, I feel more involved. people should actually be here, to understand. Yes, yes. I'm just saying, whenever I come here, it's, it's, it's not a desert, but it's, it's a bit like uh, <coughs> a, um, uh, a wadi. Yes. <laughs> Come here, in the, in the, in the, like the desert of the art world, you find all these, yeah. all these works of art. Yes. Mm. yes. Well, we've had very good feedback from people. That's A lot of people yeah. really like it here. And they didn't know it was here, and it's a wonderful place. Right. That's what we're encouraging people to do radio, which mm. is to come, come along and do all our Dover oh, things. That's brilliant. Is, is there a poetry corner? Um, we did have one before, but it's, been, it's going to be relocated because we want to encourage yeah. arts of all kinds. And we've even been told we're allowed to have live music up here as well. That's good. Is that so from the radio or is that from... Oh, like from radio, musicians, vocalists, bands. Like. Yes. Yeah, that's good. So hopefully that would um, put more interest. You know. yeah. Are all the works for sale, are they? Yes, all the works for sale. I think there's only a couple of items that aren't for sale. But most stuff so. Um, so, um, so the, the 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 larger pieces for the corporate buyers, mm -hmm. and yes. um, and if you want to exhibit here yourself, what, what what would be your next step there? Well, just contact us, and uh, we we also have another gallery, which is for where people can hang pieces of work up to four pieces, under forty pounds, and. Uh, we only take 10%, there's no hanging fee. So Which is quite, quite more, exceptional, really, So it's really, more isn't affordable. It? That's, what for I the think public, that's marvellous, yes. though. I was thinking like art transcends, transcends boundaries such as nationality, colour, faith, mm. perception, culture. Yes. Are you, do you think you've got a, like a, <coughs> a, a, a remit for, for the animal world? Or is it just you being yourself? I think it's just me being myself. It's um, I'm passionate about animals, so when I paint them, I bring them to Lots life. of people, especially yes. ladies, are, aren't they? Yes, yes. I'm, I must admit, I'm more passionate about animals and wildlife and nature than I am. Now, I've noticed you don't do any flowers, do you? Except um, in the background. I have done. I have done some flowers, but... Uh, Mm, no, no. When I first came here, about several years ago, there was a walled garden, wasn't there, on one, on one side? Oh, right, yes. Yeah, that's a long time that, ago, Yes, you? that, um, I moved, I moved studios, you see, because we had a very bad leak there. Yeah, right. And, um, I moved to this one, and of course somebody else took it over and painted it over. Oh, and no. So, it's all, it's all gone now. Yeah, I keep thinking of trying another one, I might do another mural on my wall, so... Maybe I don't... maybe... I think... get some glow-in-the-dark paints, try Avatar. I, <laughs> I did... I did one called, um... what was it? Um... Is, uh, is it Black Rainbow? Oh, yes. And it, and it said, Red Mutant Eyes. Oh, You know, from David Bowie, Red Mutant Eyes looked over the city, you know, but just... Yes. A, in the bottom of the, the Black Rainbow, it had Red Mutant Eyes. Oh. <laughs> it's quite dark, yeah, it's do you think? Dark. Do you think the people in the commune act as an inspiration for each other and, and other artists? Oh yes, uh, yes. I, I think um, uh, there's a lot of local artists and amateur artists that are exhibiting here for the first time, and the first time they've ever exhibited, and they are so inspired by the other artists. And it, it's nice that they they meet up and they talk about what they do and. Do you find it quite difficult talking about your work? Because really it's pictures, isn't it? Rather than... Yes. Rather than, than, than well, I can talk forever word. about animals, so... The medium, the medium yes. of the spoken word. Yeah. So, um, so, so, do you approach your subject with some, like, like um, date decor, some trepidation? Mm. Yes, I do. Unless I speak to you. Yes, I, I can have 
ideas going around in my mind and as soon as I get to the studio it's gone but um yeah, I get that with, with and that's how I can just paint to paint it it just flows I've just with my poetry I have, to, I have to have if that bit occurs to me I have it right at the bottom I keep having to bring it down and down so it doesn't actually if I cut if I, del- if I cut that piece cut that little piece yes it would never come back no no I just say, you know, um, so, um, is it much more comfortable now, now the leaks have been mended? Oh, much more comfortable. How did you manage to pay for all the repairs then? Uh, well, they, the new landlords, yeah. have paid to have they've the done, roof repaired. They've done it after, uh, yes, they did it out their own pocket. That they repaired the roof, and um, they gave us some money for some paint to decorate the oh. gallery. But we, but uh, oh, yeah, jolly nice of Ken things, isn't it? and myself. For oh, we've yeah. paid, well, Ken mainly has paid for all the wood. He's put up a lot of his own money yeah, well, well. to convert the gallery into a bigger space. We had, with the Dover Radio, we had to build up our, our own studio. Yes, yeah, so but it's all voluntary. Yeah. Um, all the money goes back into paying for the business rates yeah. and to keep the gallery open, basically. We, you're a happy bunny, aren't you? Oh, we are. We're one big family yeah. here. <laughs> yes, oh, yeah. yes um, there are such very nice people down here now, and it's... All these studios, but one are now full. Oh wow! So we've only got one studio left now. Yeah, they're going to hot cake, aren't they? Yes, yes, they are. They're going very quickly. Yeah. So it's not just me here on my own anymore. It must be nice for someone to come out from their flat or whatever and just have a nice little. Oh yes. Little oh yes. There's some um, quite place. a few of the new artists now. They take the studios. They're very enthusiastic. And they just love the idea, the concept of being down here, having your own studio. So when people come in to see the exhibition, they can see um, people working as well, um, yeah. sitting there painting. And yeah, I'm just wondering, am I allowed to speak to you? You are. <laughs> <laughs> you are. We often get a tap on the window, the door. Can, can I come and have a look? I see it by all means. So yeah. everyone comes in and have a look. And it's yeah. interesting. And I said, oh, I wish I could paint. I said, anyone can paint. Yeah, it, it's difficult to draw, but it depends what paint. you're painting, isn't it? Yes, well, um, it's proved um, elephants can paint, <laughs> dolphins can oh, paint, chimpanzees yeah. can paint. We've, we've seen yeah. it work, but um, Probably best anyone can well. paint. If an elephant, a chimp- you know, chimpanzee, and a dolphin can paint, I'm sure That's anyone fine. else could. Yeah. yeah. Is, is there anything you want to say to our listeners at all? Yes. Come and come and see us. <laughs> come yeah, and visit yeah. us, and um, hopefully, we won't be disappointed. And we'd like some feedback. Right. Um, You've got that book, haven't you, at the front? Yes, we've um, got the book for comments, so yes. we've moved it into the gallery space now. So it would be nice to hear what people think. Right. You know, yes. if, even if they don't buy anything, it'd just be nice to see people. See how, how they approach the work. Yes. Yeah. Right. How they view it. How they see it. Yeah. Uh, who knows, might, might spark off some sort of um, artistic um, endeavour in them as well. Yes, yes, we're even thinking on the idea of um, getting a celebrity artist and having an exhibition That'd down nice, here. That, that would be nice. Yeah. What about band? Could you have a band here? Yes, yes, we've, um, we've been told we're allowed to have... They've got I a music licence here now, so we can have... I see, I see live music. Yes, live music. Oh, oh, yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Everybody come in, wouldn't they? <laughs> and it, everyone, music. everyone would be passing through downstairs and going, what's that? We must go and have a look, it? yes. Yeah. Plus, it, we've got free admission here as well, so you just oh, walk yeah. in and... Toasters, buttons on both sides, did not you? Mm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, I think I'm, I'm wishing you every success. Thank you. Thank um, you very much. And thank you for talking with us. You're and hopefully, people listening will actually just say, "Well, yes, well, I must visit that because it, it's in the child centre." To get to the child centre, you go to the high street. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then it's right at the back and up the stairs. Yes. Follow, yes. follow, follow direction. Yes. Go through um, the Charlton shopping centre as you head towards the car park, and you, you see stairs on your right. Just up then. It's, or it's well signed. If you happen to have a motor car, then you can park it in the, yes. in the, in the yes. Charlton yes. Park, park yes. Centre. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 
Well, shall I uh, sign off now? Sign off. Right. Okay. Signing off for Derek Peter Radio and Lizzie Homer. This is Simon Partridge. Thank you very, very much, Hay, for sharing your thoughts with us. If you would like a request played on Dover Community Radio, email studio at dovercommunityradio.co.uk or phone the studio during live transmission on 01304 829 731. Dover Community Radio. It's time to get involved.